Hey guys, this could almost be a supplement video to our 8,400 round report on the TISOS Regent BR9 pistol. Um, what we're going to show you here are some differences between, uh, as an example, the TISOS Regent BR9 barrel here and the BH Spring Solutions Advanced Barrel for High Power, and that would be here. Um, the thing that led to this um, video was we never got reliability, consistent reliability in this TISOS uh, Turkish High Power. Uh, in 5,800 rounds of testing, we terminated testing, then we started uh, firing with an FN barrel, and the last many hundred rounds have been with the BH Spring Solutions Advanced Barrel for High Power Pistols. And you're going to start to see some differences immediately. Now, this barrel was judged to be defective because this chamber is off-center this direction away from the extractor 22 thousandths and um, if you can see there the barrel crown and if it looks like something does not look quite right you're right it's off center 28 thousandths um, we want to show you some differences in these barrels and what is creating we think the reliability other than the fact that everything is centered on the BH spring solutions barrel um, you're going to notice a couple of differences one the mouth of the chamber is wider, it's more open, and it's got this beautiful radius all the way around into the chamber. There's an uh, ejection port here on this side that allows for more margin for clearance of the ejecting empty shell casings. Um, the BH Spring Solutions is a one-piece barrel. Um, it is, uh, both of them have straight feed ramps. Um, we want to show you something here. And we've got some photographs actually from some customers of high power barrels that fractured. And I want you to notice any time design work of metals, any time you 90 degree anything, uh, that creates a weakness. And you're going to notice here is a 90 degree angle. I'm going to show you another one all over the place right here where that laps over this way. That's a sharp 90 degree angle there. We've got a nice... Um, 90 degree angle right here. This is the one we're going to focus and key in on is right here. Um, when a barrel recoils and tilts, it is stopped by this um, barrel lug right here. Your barrel cam lug basically locks into that at high speed, if you will. And then it's picked back up by the slide and it's raised and it comes back up. Uh, into battery, but when it comes rearward, it's locking right there. And when these angles are 90 degree like they are, do you, hopefully we can pick up that deforming right there. And then again on this side, right here. And the reason for that is that corner is not chamfered. It's a true 90 degree angle and it's showing the weakness of steel when you corner things and you 90 degree them. Um, here's a little difference. The BH Spring Solutions barrel, we're going to try to get a close up of that. See this corner? It's chamfered, it's called. There's no 90s um, involved with that uh, kind of construction of the barrel lug cam. This barrel now has thousands of rounds through it and there is not a single sign of any kind of deformation. This particular barrel here, the TIS sauce, has 5,800 rounds and it's already showing at the edges this deformation. Now, can that really cause a big problem? Well, I can feel it raised up on the corners there and I can feel it raised up on the corners there. And yes, eventually that can cause a problem because this fitment between the, the uh, frame and that barrel lug cam, you'll notice there's almost no lateral movement. Once you get enough deflection right there on these corners, you're widen, widening the dimension of the barrel cam and what can slip through here. So yeah, there could be a malfunction caused by this deformation if it gets severe enough over time, and I don't think it's gonna be getting any better. Um, so that's what happens there. Now you're going to also notice, notice the BH Spring Solutions uh, barrel has been reinforced, the design here. And that's a radical difference between bringing that barrel cam right down to the chamber and then just 90 degreeing it. 
at that point. So um, those are some of the differences. One of the very coolest differences that uh, I've personally enjoyed more about this barrel than I ever thought I would is the loaded chamber indicator feature of the barrel and it's actually that ejection port that is right here. That ejection port creates just enough daylight that if I had this firearm loaded uh, with a brass cased ammunition or whatever I would be able to visibly see it right there and uh, I have been surprised at myself how many times I have looked at that just to confirm and um, it's nice to be able to do that without needing to retract the slide back a little bit and see if there's a cartridge in there or whatever. You can actually induce malfunctions doing that. So um, this is much more 21st century, much more modern um, uh, uh, kind of a design in that it uh, does create that. Um, thanks for watching. This new uh, BH Spring Solutions Advanced High Power Barrel has just been spectacular uh, in the Tissos pistol. We are... Um, just uh, more proud and, and uh, happy with that. The buffering recoil, spring guide rod, all the components in this pistol. Um, it's one that, that uh, at 8,400 rounds, we have uh, a ton of confidence in and um, have enjoyed it very much. Thanks for watching.